I'm back. You couldn't keep me away. Today I'm doing a the perfect selfie makeup look. I was kind of like inspired by those perfect Instagram selfies that you see where you just think their skin is too good to be true. Their makeup is too perfectly blended to be true. The look I'm gonna do is like really hyper flawless airbrush looking skin with a beauty Instagrammer worthy eye makeup. I don't want to use one product that doesn't make you say Slay Chloe or Yas Batch. So that is the aim of the game today, which means I'm gonna start out with a pore minimizing primer. This is the Lancome Visionaire. You could use like Benefit Professional, but you basically want to fill in your pores. Now I'm going to use my favorite foundation for selfies. It is the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. This stuff is the Shiz Knit, and it gives you the most flawless creamy complexion so I have the colors F100, F200 and F300. This is F200. I cycle between those depending on the deepness of my complexion. When I first got this foundation, um, like not many people had heard about it for reals. Um, Nina made me buy it. She was like you have to try this. I literally like Rita Ora, Kylie Jenner, Adele, wear this stuff. Cover of Vogue, Marie Claire, L. And it's amazing for flash photography, which is why I picked it, because there's no SPF. I kind of feel like I was ahead of the game because I've been using this stuff for like two and a half years now. I was so ahead of the game. <laughs> so I applied it with a paddle brush first. Now I'm buffing it in. I'm not a big fan of the Instagram brow, but for my selfie purposes, it's required. This is my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I love the stuff. Love it. Oh my god, can an airplane refrain? I just pop that on the back of my hand and then kind of use the back of my hand as a palette. And then I usually start here. Okay, they're definitely uh, getting Grammy now. Like Instagram, not Grand Mari. I'm gonna apply my concealer from EX1. It's called the Delete Concealer. I've got like a freckle there, and I always think it's a pimple and go to cover it. Oh my god, do you remember that my boyfriend does my makeup video with Jack, and he thought that that mole was a pimple, and I got really, <laughs> I got really insecure about that after that. I'm gonna pat that in. This is a Marc Jacobs concealer brush. It's pretty neat. You just have to make sure you don't drink any coffee before embarking on this process. Take the concealer brush over the head of the brow to soften it out. Now I'm gonna use my Essence Make Me Brow. I just found out, thanks to you guys, that they actually finally got it in Australia. At the time that I bought it, they didn't stock it in Australia yet, but now they do sell it in Australia at anywhere that sells Essence, so. Bomb diggity! Instagram brows complete. Can I get a hell yes? Okay, now I'm gonna move on to eyes because my life is complete with my base and my eyeballs. My eyebrows, I mean. Base my eyes with Lavish Lilac from Clinique. Got a bunch of these new crayons out and they're great. I'm gonna do like a crayon only tutorial um, soon because I'm just obsessed with crayons and I feel like we'd do a whole look like from base to eyes with a crayon. I'm gonna give it a go. That's a really nice understated thing on my lid. Now I'm going to dive in with the K-pop for ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadows. This is in the color Wilshire. I'm using a blending brush to buff that into my socket. Can I just say, these eyeshadows are flipping amazing. I don't know where ColourPop has been my whole life, but they're really great. This brush is a necessity in literally everyone's collection. It's called the Luxe Petite Crease from Zoeva. You must have it. This is now K-pop Crenshaw eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in to the outer V and we're going to deposit that. Just a bit more concentrated into the socket than that last shade. You need to go back with that original brush to help you blend, feel free. Take that under the eye as well. It takes every fiber in my body to not do this with my mouth. Oh my god, see, I just went to do it. So infuriating. 
literally holding my mouth closed. Then I'm taking the color Beverly and I'm applying that just to the lid, but the outer third of the lid. Definitely a tip when applying product to your lid is to actually leave your eye open because if you close it like that, I always accidentally think that the crease is higher than what it actually is and I always overdo it. So I need to make sure I leave my eye open when applying it. Go back with that one. The only thing about Colourpop is that I heard shipping to Australia and New Zealand can be pretty brutal. But I have to say, if you can, these have got to be some of the best eyeshadows I've ever used. I just love the formula. Now, in the center of my lid here, I'm going to apply this Makeup Store Sassy Eye Dust. It's this beautiful, vibrant purple. And just use it on the center of the lid. It's got like a reflect kind of effect. You get a discount as well if you buy from Makeup Store Australia using my code. Then I've got these awesome glitters. It's called the Diamond Powder. I mean, this is the one that's got purple reflex. I can't actually see the name of it on the bottom, so. Makeup Store Mixing Liquid is really good for applying glitter, so get some on a brush, then tap some of the Diamond Powder into the cap, pick it up, and set it on. Glitter is really where it's at if you want those regrams. Then I'm going to use Sunset Boulevard from K-Pop again. Using that on the inner corners. Blend it up toward the purple. And then of course, under the brow bone. Well, fleeky look would be complete without that brow bone highlight. Concealer again, EX1 again. Tap it right up in there to get that blue that sometimes occurs. Now I'm gonna use Master Kajal from Maybelline. Just really carefully in my lashes at the outer third of my eye. But see how I, that just kind of makes my eye go whoop at the ends? Mascara. I love this mascara. It's the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. Now for the love of all that is holy, Chloe, don't get this on your eyelid. Now we are contouring and I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Flawless Contouring Palette. I'm going to be using this one to contour. could just lose weight to get rid of this, but... Nah! Now I'm gonna take highlight number one. You can't really apply too much of this <laughs> when it comes to Instagram. And also pop some in there. For powder, I'm gonna use my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. I used it for the first time in my last tutorial and I loved it. I'm going to use this little brush to apply it just in my T-zone bit there, here, and my chin. I'm going to use two EX1 blushes. This is Pretty in Peach and Jet Set Glow. I'm going Pretty in Peach first. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyelashes. These are the Lily Galici Luxe Lashes. And then of course, lips, I'm going to have to go with my MAC Whirl Lip Liner. Velvet Teddy Lipstick. And I think I'm done. Literally, have been doing my makeup for two hours. So, don't know how realistic this is, but I feel pretty boss. That is the finished look, my friends. I love it, but now I need to take a selfie. This is the Sony, the Cyber Shot. Let's try this. This is my sexy pose face. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> it's not really focused on me. What's wrong with this camera setting? Let's try more. Why stop when you're into something good, huh? Timer! I think I got it because I have to go out. There's too much light in this room. That's why my phone was freaking out. I mean, my camera was freaking out. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, it did it. So yeah, I'm out now guys. Hope you guys loved it and I'll see you in my next tutorial early next week. Bye.